this is Mickey Gul this is Mickey Gulari and uh, I have Raja here Raja welcome to the studio here in fact Hi. the little studio that we have online she is a yoga instructor and wishing you a very happy very 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 happy international yoga day namaste namaste so uh, what made you decide that yoga is the only thing that you can seek peace in uh it's just by experiencing it it's uh i stumbled by yoga by coincidence i don't come from any fitness background or anything i in 2007, I was going through a stressful time and uh, I started having insomnia. And uh, instead of seeking um, uh, sleeping pills or anything, I decided to give it a try and go do yoga. So it was a very gentle Hatha yoga. And I slept like a baby that day. And the more I did it, the more the experience was amazing to the extent that I wanted uh, to keep doing it and share it with other people so that the, everybody can benefit from this experience to help us manage our stress and our lives and uh, yeah so it did help you with insomnia Absolutely. It changed that, yeah uh, uh, there are people people like me also get panic attacks anxiety attack and especially in this kind of pandemic situation where you you tend to lose your sleep right mm -hmm. so uh, uh do you have any kind of suggestion like i know that you when you cannot go out go within that's what it said right you have to be very introspective and you have to uh go deep within to know yourself when you're doing yoga it's a form of meditation in fact yoga is meditation for me so when we talk about yoga and uh, well i want to wish all my viewers here a very happy international yoga day we have raja here she's one of our uh, yoga instructors she's been all over the place on facebook and uh, I, I i just love your postures this they look very very easy but the upper arm strength, the core strength, the glutes and everything, I know you're working on that when you're doing that posture. It looks like, you know, it's like, it's like you, you look like a little butterfly there and you can, you know, do this, do that. But, but tell me, like, how do you find yoga in this kind of situation helping people? Like, would you like to give any advice? Um, you know, I know. Yoga, first of all, like what we do, the asana, the physical practice is just part of, it's one part of the eight limbs of yoga, but uh, the main essence of it is being mindful, is mindfulness, to anchor the mind through the breath. So that's why we focus a lot on our breathing, even when we do the yoga, um, uh, the physical practice. And this is what calms our mind and uh, uh, gives us, us this um, kind of relaxation and ease. Mm -hmm. When I see, when I was going through your uh, uh, the whole details, uh, there is a line that says mindful eating facilitator. What exactly is that? Can you describe the term? Well, in our very fast paced life, we tend to do everything in a rush, even eating. A uh, lot of people, you find people eating while they watch TV, while um, uh, they're reading, while they're doing so many other activities. And uh, when we do that, we tend to eat without noticing what we're eating or without enjoying it, without knowing and being aware whether of the quantity or what's the quality of the food that we're putting into our bodies. So, uh, you know, as what you eat, um, uh, says a lot about your overall health. Uh, so mindful eating is not about uh, losing weight or diet or anything. It's just being, it's part of mindfulness as a whole. But Acknowledging what you're eating, exactly. Being mindful of what you're eating. So when I facilitate uh, sessions for mindful eating, it helps people be aware um, of what they eat, um, uh, every day, like every meal. So it helps with binge eating, um, eating disorders, um, these kind of um, um, eating disorders basically, and overeating syndrome. 
that's you, uh, yeah, uh, yeah overeating syndrome and in fact you know what there are people these days we are in a habit of looking at our cell phones and eating we don't even know whether what we ate how much we ate uh, then you're hungry then you think you feel that you haven't eaten anything and then you go back and eat again absolutely like binging so uh, when we talk about the mobility specialist how do you define yourself as being a mobility specialist well um there are like especially when it comes to joints uh yoga asana does not really address um uh, joints um, um injuries and um uh, to strength and work uh, along the joints so when and what what triggered this and when my students asked me things related to knees like i have knee pain i have uh, especially knees um it was hard for me like i kept on looking for things in yoga for knees specifically that I couldn't find. So I started to look around and then I found this um, functional range conditioning. It's a whole uh, system for the joints. So mm -hmm. I took this and I incorporate um, this joint um, training in all my yoga classes so that my students have a comprehensive practice that um, keeps their joints healthy. Okay, so um, now that we are in this kind of a pandemic situation, I know the gyms are all closed and you you are an instructor in a few gyms um, around the city. I recently came across a post where you have started training people outdoors. So, and I think it's started from 15th of June or something. But wow. how, how, do you, how do you, how do you, uh, encourage that um, the outdoor training how does it work i know guys we have a, a website that is showing and flashing on the screen for sure and you can contact uh, Rizra for uh, all kinds of uh, details and classes outdoors which she has started doing from 15th in brampton and mississauga both you can always contact her you can get her details her email or you can contact her on facebook instagram and there's a website right in front of me, which is uh, ticking below the screen. How did you come up with this idea of taking outdoor classes? I know we all have started coming up with yeah. wonderful ideas after the pandemic. When the whole lockdown started, um, uh, I was overwhelmed with the beautiful messages that I kept uh, receiving from my students on how much they missed their practice. So I decided to start to do something online. I started a YouTube channel to help them keep their practice and that was for free and uh then i kept on receiving those very beautiful messages but then i noticed that they still miss me and miss the practice so when they increased the gathering limit to 10 people and i miss honestly also teaching in person so i thought let's do it outside the beauty the weather is beautiful and uh doing yoga outdoor is different than indoors like it's um it's more challenging i would say because of the uneven uh ground but mm -hmm. it's so much fulfilling and satisfying because of the fresh air the sun and uh so that's how i came um um uh, the idea came to me and i'm now running these classes monday to thursday two days in grant and two days in mississauga and um, i'm fully booked until almost um uh, 9th of July, like all the classes are full. Uh, that 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 is wonderful. I saw one of the topics that shows on your website as retreat. Mm -hmm. What kind of retreat? Can you explain what exactly is retreat? Retreat uh, as a retreat? Retreat, um, it's basically we gather a group of people who are like they practice yoga uh, regularly. They like to do it um, more um, like to have a more intensive practice, mm -hmm. um, eating, having healthy food, um, almost like four to six hours of yoga per day, like distributed over the day. And just to enjoy um, having conversation with like-minded people, uh, discussing uh, topics that everybody's interested about, whether it's yoga, health, breathing. So in these retreats, um, it's not like just the regular um, uh, classes. We do uh, meditation, mindfulness meditation. We do um, different, I, I let them um, try different uh, types of yoga. We do uh, yoga nitra. We do restorative yoga, we do yin, and then we do the vinyasa. And um, uh, 
Uh, so yeah, I do locally here retreats every year. Um, unfortunately, this one in July that was scheduled in uh, July, I had to uh, postpone it. And um, I started actually thinking of doing yoga vacations now um, outside of Canada. So something was planned um, for uh, next May in Jordan to visit different um, uh, historical uh, sites but this one also might be postponed when the travels and everything get back to kind of normal so is it like one of one-on-one -on -one services also and the corporate services also that you uh, take care of yes i do one-to-one -one, um for people who want to go deeper into their practice mm -hmm. or people who wants to um have some challenges in life where they can i can help them um uh, go through these challenges through yoga mindfulness meditation and breathing pranayama breathing techniques are very powerful and help us um uh, be re resilient to um to to whatever come across us uh, in life Mm -hmm. So do you do you provide them some kind of nutritional chart as well, like uh, in, in the retreat, if I can go back on that topic, like, you know, what diet to follow, because people are coming for retreat. It doesn't mean that they are there and they are just done with. And when they go back home, then they can, you know, just I'm forget. Not, it. I'm not a dietitian, so I do not provide specific uh, dietary advice. But we yes, the, 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 and I can advise and encourage people to eat healthy, balanced food. And this is what we provide in the retreat. Like everything is healthy, plant-based. Uh, I'm not suggesting that everybody has to be vegetarian. But I mean, like the way you cook and the options to the variety of, uh, of food. And this, is, this works for the majority of people unless somebody has like a specific condition that a specialist has to to advise them on but um that's the majority for for food is just eating healthy balanced food and yes i provide uh, the the um, the options for these well uh, ladies and gentlemen out there and all our viewers this was Rusha, and she is one of the best yoga teachers oh, that i have come across you. because i'm totally blown away by the poses and the postures they seem to be easy you can go on her facebook i'll be uh giving the details out after the interview she has a website she is on instagram you can contact her she's doing all her outdoor classes right now from mississauga and brampton and thank you very much for joining us at such a short notice. I really, really, it's it's so much of fun to know about uh, the topic that I love. I mean, like for me, art of living and yoga, it's been from time immemorial and uh, it, it has always, uh, you know, I don't know, like I just, I just look at it, the postures, and I feel that as if I'm doing one. Right. So, uh, well, thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining and uh, wishing you a great um, life ahead. And I hope I hope we uh, are able to meet each other face to face. And thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you for having me. Thank you, Mickey. Namaste. Namaste.